My nieces and nephews of homie gang. <laughs> Yo, uncle is back again with another video today. And look, look, look. I got the long awaited advanced hand cam dribble tutorial for y'all. This has been a long awaited video. You feel me? Long awaited. Y'all been spamming me, spamming me, spamming me for this dribble tutorial ever since I dropped the, the beginner dribble tutorial, which y'all ran up that video drops. 75,000 likes on that video. I appreciate and love every single one of y'all for that. You feel me? We about to hit 80K on that video. Y'all the ghost. And we just hit 41K like three days ago when we had 41,500. I appreciate and love every single one of y'all for that. You feel me? And look, I know y'all probably wondering, what is this old ass bitch ass uncle doing with a bonnet on his head, big ass bonnet with no shirt on? My nigga, if you got a problem with me with no with the bonnet on, with no shirt, titties all out, nigga, fuck your mama and you, bitch. You feel me? Watch this dribble tutorial. You came here to learn how to dribble. Watch this motherfucker. You feel me? It's a little hot right now. That's why I don't got the robo hell on. You feel me? I'm gonna put the robo hell on once I get started in the dribble tutorial. All right. What I need for y'all, bitch, ass nigga, right now to suck it. I'm just kidding. Okay. You stop playing. What I need y'all to do is like the video, leave a comment, leave a comment, leave a comment if you love your mama. Subscribe if you're new. The more people that like this video up and leave a comment on it, the more homie gang members we get to the channel, the more my video gets put in the algorithm and a lot more people get to see and we gain a lot more subs. We on the road to 100K, you feel me? Y'all been running up my content videos something crazy more than the wager reactions. And I appreciate and love every single one of y'all for that. For me, for this video, first off, I'm gonna give you all the dribble sigs, then I'm gonna give you the badges I'm running, then I'm gonna go into the, 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 the dribble tutorial of every, every, almost every move in the game. You feel me? I appreciate and love every single one of y'all. Like I said, one more time, leave a comment, leave a comment, leave a comment if you like, mama. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get into the dribble tutorial. All right, y'all, for the first dribble style, we have quick. Quick dribble style is one of the is probably been the best dribble style since patch one of the game. Everybody been rocking quick dribble style. I love it. You should love it. Everybody should love it. Another honorable mention dribble style that's really good is Kyrie Irving. I used to run Kyrie Irving a lot, but it, it, it matches well with other signature styles. I like for these signature styles that I'm using. I like the quick dribble style. I feel like I get tight handled animations more once I when I use the quick dribble style. Another real good one that I used to use is Paul George. If you want to look a little different compared to other guards, you might want to throw on Paul George. It gives you a little speed boost out of it too. 
So if you want to look at different and have a little speed boost out, you know what I'm saying? Try the Paul George one, but quick is the fastest one and it, and it changed and it's smooth with all the SIGs that I like to use. Signature style, signature size ups. I mean, D Rose been the best one since patch one. Kyrie Irving is another good one and S Francis. S Francis is one I like to use when I like to be in a park and look flashy combo up and feel like i'm on next gen it gives you like a next gen type movement so if you want to be like like look flashy and have a next gen type movement use s francis but d rose is the best to, if you're playing against comp i'm giving y'all the comp dribble stop like comp the niggas that comp stage niggas is using this is this is what it i'm gonna give y'all the d rose d rose is the best one it, it, you can get the best you get the best dribble animations and I, um, it triggers tight handles the best with uh with quick dribble style that's why i like using d rose uh, when i use Kyrie Irving, i don't really get people in tight handle animations but when i use d rose i get a lot more tight handle animations that's why i like to use d rose uh, as my signature size up signature combos baron davis i feel like this makes me actually faster isaiah thomas is another good one released this season but that one's if, if you want to be looking more flashy look, look more like a dribble head but you know what i'm saying for uh signature combos i like using baron davis you get a good uh speed boost out of this once you well i'll show you when when you hold r2 and flick up you know what i'm saying in game you get a good speed boost out of this and you can combo and chain a lot of moves out of this move i like this one and it's been my favorite all year baron davis is probably the best signature combo in the game size up escape packages trey young trey young has been the best all year nothing compares to trey young s curry just released this year but you can't really stand still dribble with s curry that's why i don't really like using s curry uh, signature si size up escape package trey young is the best to chain out of, like this gives you the best to chain out of every different move when you use s curry it kind of it kind of feels clunky to chain out of some moves but with trey young you can you can move freely throughout with uh, with all your combos and, and your other moves. So I like using Trey Young the best. Moving crossover, Chris Paul, nothing really bad. You don't really do too many moving crossovers. It's just, you know what I'm saying, probably one of the fastest. Giannis was also, Giannis was also a good one. But if you want to do a quick peek, you want to either go Giannis or uh, Chris Paul. But after the patch, I didn't really like Giannis no more. So I, I switched to Chris Paul, and it's been really smooth for me. Moving behind the back, Scotty Pippen. It gives you the fast 2K19 uh, and 2K was in 2K20 right there that behind the back it used to be on damian lillard but they moved it to scotty pippen for some reason after a patch and i like that behind the back really really uh, uh a lot so uh i always rock the scotty pippen moving behind the back moving spins i use basic moving spin basic moving spin is the best moving spin to get the soul moving if y'all know the soul moving where you uh run to the mid-range do the spin move and do do a behind the back you feel me the quick is it's like a quick spin all the way back to the three-pointer and then you do a behind the back at the three-point line how do you if you know how to do the so moving if you watch so moving that's how you do it you got that basic moving spin on it's the best moving spin in the game i like it i love it and it uh it, it, it looks good to, if you want to bop somebody you feel me moving uh so basic uh moving spin is the best moving spin in the in the game moving hesitation ronda rajon rondo i like it you know what i'm saying it gives me that quick peek move Whenever you tap L2, it's better. For me, I like using moving hesitation. Rajon Rondo is the best to me in this game. Moving step back, John Wall is undoubtedly the best moving step back. Once it released, everybody virtually switched to this. It helps you. This also is one of the requirements you need to do the little fake quick peek, the fake, uh, the fake peek. That's what I meant for all the other moves. The fake peek. If you want to do the fake peek, you have to have John Wall, and then on the the moving uh, crossover, you have to either have Chris Paul or Giannis. <clears throat> so put on John Wall for your moving step back. Triple threat style, I use normal six. Like I said, with normal one, your body, you see how you're holding the ball down at your knees. With normal six, you're holding the ball up here. So when you catch and shoot, or if you're just getting ready to pull up, you don't have to start from all the way from the bottom. The niggas don't contest you. You can start up here. You just get that shot off at the quickest time. And a flashy pass, I use wizard. It's uh, if you know the special delivery method, if you're playing comp stage or if you're playing regular stage, and then you have your center just sitting on block, it gives and you have running special delivery. It helps you get uh, you just run a a, a fly, you throw a flashy pass to your center, and uh, they get team takeover in like four four dunks or so. So you want to throw on wizard is the one that doesn't get blocked the most. You feel me? Six that you'll need quick D Rose, Baron Davis, Trey Young, Chris Paul, S Pippen. Basic, Rajon Rondo, J, John Wall, Normal 6, and Wizard. He's the best six on NBA 2K22. Now, 
Let's get into the You gotta throw these on And now I'm gonna I'm actually tell y'all the, 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 the We gonna get into the badges Y'all need to run Then we're gonna get into The dribble tutorial What I just need y'all to do If y'all made it this far Is like up the video Leave a comment Leave a comment Leave a comment If you mama Subscribe if you new I appreciate and love y'all Let's get into the badges Alright y'all Now we are into the badge setup You feel me We're into the badge setup And this is the badges I like to run Bailout on bronze because sometimes if i need to pass out i need to throw that bell out if i can if i have enough badge points then i do up it to silver because i i like to bail out the ball a lot uh bullet passer the most you need it is silver you don't really need them that much but the most important badges you need is quick four step hall of fame handles for days hall of fame some people feel say you only need quick chain on bronze but i like it on hall of fame i feel way faster like my combos feel way faster with it on hall of fame I run it on Hall of Fame. I mean, you still move pretty fast and faster than most when it's on bronze. But it feels like you have like gold playmaking when you have it on bronze. Like so, I, I like running a Hall of Fame. Tight handles one of the most important badges in the game. You want to have a Hall of Fame to freeze your defenders. Unpluggable. A lot of times I run it on silver, but you know what I'm saying. If you play in stage or anything like that. You want to run it on at least gold but if you're playing park and you just want to combo up get clips and all that i always run it silver because the park niggas is pretty ass i'm not gonna lie they're, they're, they're the casual players they're not gonna be reaching they're not gonna be blitzing and double teaming you the whole game stop and go i got it on bronze and that's i don't, I don't know i feel like I, I i get better animations better stop like stop and go animations like when i play stops and goes i, I feel like I, I get better animations with the stop and go at least on bronze and glue hands is for whenever uh i'm getting up court passes or down court passes or if i pass it to my 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 center or my part my lockdown in the corner and they passing it back and you know their passing ain't high so and i'm it, it'll help me catch the ball and i don't fumble it as much but if i'm running if i'm playing like actual comp stage like we playing comp stage this would you want to run like something like this you want your special delivery on hall of fame so you want to run something like this at least i mean at least you want to run something like this you know I me mean? because you need special delivery on hall of fame to get that to get that uh what's it called to this uh flashy pass your center who's just sitting block because in, in in the comp stage niggas all they do is the center sits block and you just throw them flashy passes or you three hunt you feel me or try score two if you playing comp stage you want to run it like this but i i don't i ain't be even really playing comp stage like that so i'll be running out like this be running it like this you feel me put your badges like this and let's get into the dribble tutorial all right y'all we in the dribble tutorial now and i got the hand cam on the on the right and I got the visual on the left. This is what I like to do. You feel me? For my for my subscribers and my new subscribers, really learning how to dribble. Cause not, cause I, I feel like whenever I used to learn how to, when I used to try and learn how to dribble, I could not just get it looking at somebody's controller because they're moving a their controller fast. So I like to put the visual on the left. You feel me? I'm a W YouTuber. Your uncle is a W. So like I said, if you're new to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, leave a comment, leave a comment, if you your mama, subscribe, subscribe if you're new, you feel me, cause who doing this, this is why it took me so long to drop this advanced dribble tutorial, cause it's gonna be long, and I want y'all to get, understand every aspect of it, so I knew I had to get the visuals on the left for y'all, so I had to take time out my day to do that, you feel me, like I said, W uncle in the, in the comments, alright, first dribble move I wanna teach y'all is how to stand still dribble, because this is one of the best and uh, most efficient moves to use in the game it's really easy too it's really easy all you want to do is hold r2 flick your uh right stick diagonally up to the right like this that's how you even do the big hezzy we haven't even got into that move yet you know what i'm saying i should have even showed y'all that move first but you want to do that like this if you can do that that's easy just look at my controller look at hold r2 and flick diagonally flick your right stick diagonally up to the right like this you feel me you can do that easy right so once you do that, you want to do that and let go of R2 and then flick back diagonally up left on your left stick. Diagonally up left on your left stick. You feel me? Like watch my fingers. Look like this. You just want to keep doing that and then speed it up. You want to speed it up like this. You see me? It's not hard to do that. You feel me? And then you could just speed out. Once you go back, when you see the balls in my left hand, Balls in my left hand, I hold R2, flick diagonally up right, let go of R2 and flick back uh, diagonally up left, you feel me? So when you do it, ball in your left hand, hold R2, flick, when you're, see, when you're flicking it, when you're doing, going to your uh, right hand, you want to flick, hold R2 and flick diagonally up right, and then once you're going to go back left, you want to let go of R2, flick your uh, right stick diagonally up left, 
wog, you, you're not holding R2 no more. And then you want to just run, you feel me? Or Well, you can just not run. You can just repeat the step until you want to run. You feel me like that? You feel me? That's how you like. That's like an easy stand. You could you could do other moves, combo and out of standstill like this. You feel me? Other moves. But you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't even been playing this game a lot. So my standstill kind of ass. You feel me? I'm just trying to give y'all a basic one. See like that. That's an easy, that's easily how to stand still. Alright, now let's get into the next dribble move. Alright, now we into the slide crossover. So if the ball is in your left hand, this is a this is a good move to use for uh to get open too. If you're if you're chaining a lot of your dribble moves and you want to use this fast, you feel me? But a slide crossover, it's very easy move. You want to hold if the ball is in your left hand, you want to hold R2, flick your right stick diagonally up uh right, <clears throat> and then you want to uh flick uh hold your left stick you want to hold your left stick after you flick hold after you hold r2 and flick diagonally up right you want to hold your left stick to the to the uh, to the right as well you feel me you all you got to do all in motion like this you want to get the big hezzy like this but once you get it like that you want to while holding r2 you want to go like this you hold r2 don't let go of r2 do the big hezzy once you see the big hezzy like cause you see that right there that's how you do it right there Say I'm stand still dribbling. Say I'm stand still dribbling. Oh shoot, I didn't even do it right. Hold on. Say I'm stand still dribbling. Like there. Right there. Right there. Right there. So it's a very good move. You want to just hold or while you're holding R2, you want to flick like that. Flick R2 diagonally up right. And then your left stick go uh uh flick your uh, hold your left stick to the right as well, like this. I mean, it makes your defender slide. If you're doing a lot of moves, it'll make your defender slide. See, this is how you do it right there. You see, you can see, and you can just, you get a good speed boost off of that too. See, like, look, defender, separation. You want to always separate yourself, bro. Always want to separate yourself. See, this is how you do it right here. I mean, that one's the easy, that's an easy move to do as well. So if the ball's in your left hand, like I said, hold R2, flick your right stick diagonally up right, and your left stick right as well. You feel me? You don't want to do it too fast. Once you flick your once you flick your right stick uh, diagonally up right, you want to like put like a half second pause. Wait until you get the wait until the ball is all the way in your other hand. Then you want to move your left stick all the way to the right as well. You feel me? See, I pause. Like, look at my controller if you need the the the, the, the time variation. You can slow it down as well. You feel me? I want to go slow and make sure y'all get all of this in. You feel me? Sometimes you might get the hezzy. That's if you uh, flick your stick diagonally up. Your left stick diagonally up. You feel me? Alright. Now on to the next move. Alright, y'all. Now it's time to show y'all this move right here. It's the speed boosting crossover like this. You feel me? You could just... You could spam it back left, right. You feel me? Like this. You feel me? About to show y'all how to do that right there, alright? So with this move right here, you want to flick your right stick. If the ball's in your left hand, you want to flick your right stick diagonally up to the right. Then you want to hold your left stick to the right while while holding R2. So you want to flick your right stick first. Don't hold R2 while you're doing it first. When before when you flick in your right stick, you don't want to hold R2. You want to hold R2 at the same time as you hold your left stick. You feel me? So look, I'm flicking up right here. Then I'm holding left stick. Look, if you if you don't do it right, sometimes you'll get the you'll get the little side. If you go down, if you hold your analog stick down, you'll go. It, it won't give you the fast one. You feel me? But if you flick your right stick up. And then you hold your left stick to the to the right while holding R2, then you'll get it like this. See? I mean, you don't want to hold your you don't want to hold R2 while you're flicking your uh, right stick. You want to hold R2 once you move your left stick to the right. You want to do that. You feel me? Like this. Gives you like a, a quick speed boost. Look, I'm out. Separation, bro. Separation. Now, like I said, you want to use all the separation moves. This is good. Like, yeah, I'm comboing. I'm comboing. He's right over there. Speed boost this way. Speed boost that way. You feel me? Stand still was good. You could stand still out of a lot of moves. See, I use stand still right there. Flick. I'm gone. You feel me? Easy, 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 easy. That's a. It's, it's like a speed boosting crossover like this. You feel me? Just watch my controller. I also got the visual on the side. You feel me? You feel me? Not hard at all. Not hard at all. 
All right. Now let's get into the next move. Let's get into the next move. I'm trying to I'm trying to kind of go quick through through these, but uh, I'm gonna give y'all one more visual because I want y'all to get it down. You feel me? Look at my controller. Look at my controller. Pause it if you need to. See when I flick, I'm not holding R2. I hold R2 once I move my left stick. You feel me? Like this. Keep going back and forth. You get separated. You separate yourself. The good separation move right there. See? You, you might be comboing up. And you want to go this way, this way. I stand still. Go back this way. You gone. You gone. You feel me? Good move right there. All right. On to the next move. All right. Y'all should know how to do this one if you know how to if you know how to uh what's it called? Since I showed you how to uh do the the stand still, you feel me like this? Y'all should know how to do this move right here, okay? This is called the long hesitation. For this move is not hard at all. The ball is in your left hand. You want to hold R2 and flick the right stick up. You feel me? Just like that. That's all you want to do while holding R2. Just flick the right stick up like this. This is how you, you can crab people, see? Get around him. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, let me show you. Why well, kind of elite defender? Say I'm standstilling. Get around him. Shoot that motherfucker like that. You feel me? They will slide. With this move, you stand still a little bit. You feel me? Stand still a little bit. Run, run, run. Hezzy like this. You can shoot that ball easily. They slide and sometimes they get in it like a, a, like a, a frozen animation. You see? Separation right there. I'm open. You feel me? With this move, you can get open easy. You could crab niggas easily with that move too. If they're to the side of you, if they're to the side of you and you do that move, I can't get you know, uh, this nigga to my side. But if they're to the side of you, you can crab them easy. You feel me? You can crab them easy. So this is a it's a very good move. If the ball is in your uh, right hand, you just want to hold R2 and flick it up diagonally to the left. Your right stick diagonally up to the left. Like that. You feel me? Not not a hard move at all. This is this is these are pretty easy moves. Y'all should be getting down. Watch my controller if you need a help on how to do it. It's just like how you do the standstill dribbling. It's just you don't you don't go back left or you don't go back right. You feel me? For standstill, you just hold R2, flick up, and then you do like that. Like that. I mean, and you could just long hezzy out. Hold on, hold on, let me try and get that nigga right here. Hold on. I mean, like that separation, separation. You feel me? Now we ain't going into the next move. Uh, if y'all, if y'all, if I'm going too fast, y'all let me know. For, so uh, on the next one, I can, you know, what I'm saying, kind of slow down. But let me show y'all one more again. Show y'all one more again. It's not a hard move to do. For me, it's easily can crab your defenders with that move right there. All right, the double hesitation. You feel me? You want to just for this. If the ball is in your left hand, you just want to hold R2 and flick your right stick two times diagonally up to the right like this. You feel me? Double hesitation. You can go like that. You see that double hesitation right there? Hold on. I'm doing the long hezzy. I'm not flicking it. See, like that. You feel me? And look, it even got that nigga in the tight handles animation. You feel me? You want to do it pretty fast. You want to flick your your, your stick uh, diagonally up pretty fast, or it's just gonna give you the long hezzy. See, see, you want to do that. See, and then you could do that speed boost out, long hezzy, speed boost out with the speed boost of the long uh, the speed boost crossover. See, that's why I like to usually use. I double tap. You feel me? Or you could do the slide crossover. You see, I did the slide crossover like that. You feel me? A lot of moves. Or you could, uh, or, you, or you could be, yeah, you, can, you can do a lot of moves. I haven't even showed y'all that one. I haven't even showed y'all how to momentum spam. You just want to hold R2 and then flick your right stick diagonally up to right two times. You want to do it really quick though. Like that. Like that. You know I mean? <clears throat> Not a hard move at all to do. Just hold the R2 like I said. Flick it up two times. You know what I mean? Like this. You know I mean? And it's good. You see, I did the side cross crossover with it. Now, nah, nah, that time I did the speed boost crossover with it. You know I me? Mean? Wanna go? I like to stand still when I do it. You know I me? Mean? For me, you can do a lot. Of, you can do a lot. For me. Look, oh my goodness, y'all separation. See, it's a really fast move. You feel me? You get speed boost out of it. Really good move. Really good move right there. <clears throat> All right. On to the next move. On to the next move. That was the double hesitation. 
all right the mini behind the back this is why i like to call it because there's two behind the backs this is the mini behind the back you feel me it's just like this all you want to do is hold r2 and flick your right stick diagonally down to if the ball is in your left hand you want to hold r2 and flick your right stick diagonally to the to the uh, to the right you feel me you want ball in the left hand hold r2 flick your right stick diagonally down to the right you feel me that's it you feel me this is a move i like to combo out of i i stand still mo a lot you feel me you no know, let me hold on see if i got some combos i can let me just like that you know what i mean nobody really uses it but it's pretty decent it's pretty decent of a move it doesn't really separate you but i like it i like to i like to chain it with some other moves i mean it's not hard at all so all you want to do is just hold r2 hold r2 flick your right uh, if your ball's in your left hand hold r2 flick your uh right stick diagonally down to the right i mean just like that if the ball's in your right hand you want to hold r2 flick your right stick diagonally down to the left not hard at all see not hard at all Hard. All right, on to the next move. The explosive behind the back. It's not really as explosive anymore, but that's why I have the mini and the explosive. Y'all see me? I like using the explosive behind the back. A lot of people don't use it as much no more, but I use it a lot. All you want to do if the ball is in your left hand, you want to hold R2, flick your right stick down, and your and then flick your left stick up, like all at kind of like the same time. But you want to flick your right. You want to hold R2, flick your right stick down first, then you want to flick your right stick up. You feel me? Just put a little split second between it, like this. Just like it's just like how you do it in 2K20. You feel me? the same exact way you know I me mean? i like this move a lot because sometimes if i'm going out i mean i might for you know I me mean? i ain't even get it right y'all see these this move in my intro a lot a lot of people neglected this move but i use it a lot see i separate myself they, if they're running you want to use this move really if people are running at you say you're right here you do a speed boost say you're right like all the way on the other side you speed boost out here they're chasing you you want to you kind of want to you know what i'm saying i keep getting this because i'm not flicking at it see if you flick it left it might it's going to give you the in between the leg crossover like that you feel me that's what i kept doing so you want to make sure it's all about practice that's why you be in the mic court a lot in lab you want to make sure you're holding r2 and you want to flick diagonally down with your right stick diagonally down you feel me you don't want to uh sometimes i'll be flicking left that's why it gives me that little crossover but if you flick diagonally down you should be good see separate myself like that i mean very very good move not too many people use it because it doesn't really put people in a tight handle animation is not really as explosive for me sometimes i do that I do the little i mean that it's really good moves after you do it you really want to combo the slide crossover out with it you feel me after you do it you want to combo it out and they'll slide i mean right there i got the little big hesitation i mean or you can speed boost like that separate yourself this move i'm telling you i'm giving you already moves uh that y'all can just combo up with other moves that i'm giving y'all you see see i did a quick speed boost right there he's sliding he gone he gone he gone okay so all you want to do is hold r2 flick your right stick diagonally down to the to the right and then flick your uh, left stick up uh diagonally up to the right you feel me like that and then vice versa you feel me just look at my controller i mean not hard at all all right on to the next move y'all the snatch back there's actually i figured out there's actually two ways to do this you can do it like this i'm putting i'm gonna put both ways on the the left side of the screen you feel me what, uh, if you want to do it one way like this you can just all you got to do is flick your right stick up and your left stick down you feel me so you want to flick your right stick up first then your left stick down you feel me you can do it like that look at my controller feel me not hard at all you got to do is flick your right stick up first then your left stick down you feel me right stick up first and then your left stick down not hard to do this but you can also do it while holding r2 say you're in a combo you're holding r2 if the ball is in your left hand you want to flick your right stick diagonally to the right and then your left stick down while holding r2 you feel me like this for me and if it's in your if it's in your right hand you want to flick your right stick to the left and then your uh, your left stick down you feel me it's not I, I didn't even know you could do it that way until I, I i i was testing i was i was doing everything for my dribble tutorial you feel me see this if you comboing out do it two times you separate yourself 
separate yourself. If you know how to shoot from half court, you can. But sometimes if you're going through the three line, you can do that. You feel me? Snatchback is a very important move in the game. You feel me? Separate yourself. Separate yourself like that, bro. When you're dribbling, you just want to keep separating yourself. Ball's in my, my right hand, look to the left, down. You feel me? Do it two times. You can spam it. See, you can spam it as many times as you want. You feel me? Or you could do it the other way, up and down, up and down while not holding R2. You feel me? Two ways to do it. You feel me? Not a hard move at all. You feel me? All right, on to the next move. On to the next move, y'all. The momentum spam. One of my favorite moves in the game. You feel me? You feel me? All you want to do, this one's a very easy move. All you want to do is right stick up and then flick your, your left stick uh, uh, diagonally up. If the ball, okay, if the ball is in your left hand, you want to flick your right stick up. Then you want to flick your left stick diagonally up to the right. You feel me? And then you want to go back and forth. Like when, when the ball goes to your right hand, then you want to uh, flick your left stick. Uh, I mean, flick your, flick your right stick up and then your left stick back diagonally to the left. You feel me? Just like this. Look at my controller. Not hard at all. You just spam this. You spam this. You feel me? So what you want to do, what you want to do is start off with is just flick up your right stick and then flick uh, your left stick diagonally to the left. You feel me? Just do that. If you can do that, then you can do it. You feel me? If you can do that, then you can do it. And if the ball's in your right hand, you want to flick up and then flick your left stick diagonally up to the left. You feel me? Look at this. You feel me? You just want to practice it slow first. You want to practice it slow first. Just practice it slow first and then you just start spamming it okay once you get it down slowly you just want to keep speeding up you feel me and you can you feel me you can do a lot of moves out of this again bump hold on not hard at all though all right that's how you do the momentum spam. It's not hard at all. But for y'all, if you just learn, look, I'm getting a tight handle. If y'all just learning, you just want to practice it on slow first. Just flick up, ball in my left hand, flick up, and then uh, flick up right stick, flick my right stick up, and then flick uh, the left stick diagonally up to the left. I mean, to the right. I mean, like that. And just go slowly. Just go slowly with it. Just go slowly with it. All right. Just keep doing that. All right. Now let's get into the next move. All right, y'all, for this one, I'm gonna give y'all the fast side to side move. You feel me? For this one, you wanna flick your right stick first to the uh, uh, to the right. If the ball's in your left hand, you wanna flick your right stick to the right, then hold R2, then uh, flick and hold uh, left stick. You feel me? Like this. I mean, you should get like this. Like this. Sometimes you get that. That's if that's because I'm flicking down. You feel me? I mean, sometimes I'm flicking down. Go like that. Okay, not hard at all. Causes your defender to slide. See, he's sliding. He's sliding. He's sliding. You just want to keep doing that. You feel me? Watch my controller. Watch my controller. You feel me? My controller explains it better than I do. I ain't even gonna lie to you. you feel me? You say say you stand still in. You come the next move. Okay, the fake peak, the fake peak. This is not hard to do. All you want to do is run, tap L2. You feel me? While you're holding R2, you're holding R2 and your um, your left stick. You're running this way to your left stick. If you if you're running to the to the right, you feel me? Hold R2, run to the right, tap L2. You feel me? It's gonna give you that little stop right there. Let me tap L2 like that. Tap L2. It's gonna give you a little peak like that. There's a fake peak right here. See? Tap L2 while running. So watch my controller. You just wanna run. Tap L2. Okay, that's how you fake peak. You feel me? You can just keep spamming it. Keep spamming it. Till you shoot. You feel me? They're gonna think you're gonna shoot. Sometimes they're gonna think, especially when the shot clock is down. Fake peak like this. Go back the other way. Oh shoot, I messed up right there. Got a fader. You feel me? Quick peek is not a hard move at all. We don't even need to spend too much time on this. See, just do that. Go back the other way. Fake peek. You be like, what the fuck are they doing? Fake peek. Go back the other way. Let me 
Fake peak. Fake peak. Shoot them up. Then you can quick peek like that. Just quick peek like that. For me. Not hard at all to do the fake peek right there. Alright. Now on to the next move. Hop jumpers. Hop jumpers. Not a hard move at all. All you want to do is just like 2K20, 2K19, 20. All you want to do is hold R2. Flick your left stick down, uh, diagonally down. You feel me? Or you can just flick it down as you want. You feel me? Shoot that mug. You feel me? Hop jumper is not a hard move at all to do. You feel me? Are you comboing out? Elvis. And if, especially if you got play take and ankle breaker on. I don't have ankle breaker on right now. You feel me? Separate yourself. You feel me? Use some of the moves that I gave you. You feel me? Combo up with it. You gotta separate yourself. You me? And I use the James Harden hop jumper. James Harden hop jumper gives you that little, that little one that looks like you freaking traveling and shit. You feel me? Like that. Separates yourself. All right, that's how you do the hop jumper. Now into the misdirection crossover, a move that a lot of comp stage and a lot of regular dribblers use. The ball is in your left hand. You want to flick your right stick up, then hold R2, then flick your left stick diagonally up to the left the other way. You feel me? So you, because you're misdirection. So you see, I watch how I do it right here. Like that. Like that. You see how I did the first time? Hold on. Like that. Like that. You feel me? It's a good move to combo like, especially if you're standstill. Like that, you feel me? Behind the back. You slide slide crossover, you feel me, with it. It's not a hard move at all to do. I mean, and it gets your, your defenders in a tight handle animation. See? Oh, that time I went too fast with it, you feel me? Not hard at all. All you want to do is flick up like that. Look at my controller. You me? Not hard at all to do. You feel me? This is what it looks like. Doing like a misdirection crossover. You like crossing it over, bro. Doing like a fake crossover. This. Alright. Ball in the left hand. Flick the right stick up first. Then hold R2 and then flick back up. Flick and hold the left stick up to the left. You feel me? And run. Like that. You feel me? Not hard at all. Not hard at all. You need the visual. My controller is there. And we got the, the little things on the side. You feel me? All right. On to the next move. All right. So we're doing the misdirections. The front misdirections. How to do the front misdirections. So you want to hold R2. And then if the ball is in your left hand, you want to hold R2. Flick your right stick to the right. And then flick your left stick to the left. You feel me? Like this. Look at my controller while, while I'm doing it. You feel me? Not a hard. You can spam this too. You feel me? This is how to do it the front way. This is how to do it the front way. Look at my, look at my controller if you need the visual. You feel me? Lucky Mally, what's the word? See, I did a misdirection crossover with that. Out that move. You finally made it. Misdirection crossover. Out that move. You feel me? This is really a flashy move to okay, use, you feel me? The word. Not hard. Watch my controller. That's why I keep spamming it. So I can keep watching it. Slow it down if you need to. I'm gonna keep spamming it. I'm gonna keep spamming it. Keep spamming it. Just for y'all get that visual, you feel me? Alright. Slow it down and do it if you gotta do it yourself, you feel me? Hold R2. I mean not hard at all. Alright? On to the next move. On to the next move. On it. On to the next move. Now I think this is the last move on the list. One of the last moves on the list is the between the legs misdirection. It's basically like the same way, but you, with this, you want to flick your right. If the ball's in your left hand, you want to flick your right stick down. You don't want to flick it just uh, straight to the to the right. You want to flick it diagonally down to the right. You want to flick your right stick diagonally down to the right, and then your left stick to the left the same way while holding R2. You feel me? And this this one you can. Hold on. Let me show y'all some combo with it. Dang, I can't even get it. Sometimes if you don't flick your right, your left stick, if you flick your right, left stick up, it's going to give you a wrong move. I mean, that's what I'll be doing. 
I mean, I always get caught doing that. That's why I, this move, I always gotta, for me, get it back down. I'm even messing up. Oh, there we go. There we go. Once I get in the groove, it I can just spam it. See? Not hard. Ball in my ball in my left hand. Flick your right. Flick your your right stick. Oh, I even got this wrong. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't get it wrong. I know the low visual. Yeah. So ball in my left hand. Ball in my left hand. Flick my right stick while I'm holding R2. Ball in my left hand. Flick my right stick diagonally down and flick my left stick to the to the left. You feel me? Me. Not hard at all. Not hard at all. You feel me? That's how you do the the, the, the between the leg misdirection. No. There we go. I also do a misdirection out of it too. All right, for the crab misdirection, it's not a hard move right here. You just want to hold R2, flick your right stick up. Then you want to let go of R2 real quick and then hold, flick your left stick to the left and run. You just want to run like this. For me, that's how you do it. For me, the crab misdirection. I mean, that's that's not a hard move to do at all. Just like that. For me, watch my controller. Watch my controller. Hey Josh, you crazy. Watch my controller. Gets them in a tight handle animation too. I mean. Not a hard move to do at all. Not a hard move to do at all. Spamming it. Kind of like your your standstill. You can stand still with it. I mean, not a hard move to do at all. I'm just going to keep spamming it for y'all. Really good move to uh, put your uh, defender in a tight hand animation. I would show y'all how to do the in between the legs spam, but I am not good at that. Like, I am not good at it at all. At all. I, like, that is one of the hardest moves to do on the game for me. You feel me? But like, I give y'all a lot of moves, you feel me? Take it, take it, take it how you do it, you feel me? Keep watching the dribble tutorial, practice all these moves I gave y'all, you feel me? Let me know how y'all like it, let me know how y'all come out with it, you feel me? Y'all like other video? Leave a comment, if, leave a comment, leave a comment if you love your mama. Subscribe if you new. Me, your boy, your uncle HK, this was a long dribble tutorial. So I hope y'all, y'all bangs with me, sub up, you know what I'm saying? Let me know how y'all dribbling out there, you feel me? All right, y'all. It's been everybody's favorite uncle on YouTube. Go out there, practice these moves. Let me know how y'all like it. How y'all dribbling with them? For me, let me know if y'all cooking up. Drop the uh, jump shot video for y'all. Drop this build video for y'all. Five nine demon. Let me know. Let me know how y'all doing. For me, leave a comment. Leave a comment. Leave a comment if you like, mama. Subscribe if you're new. I'm out.